I B B letter นะ for wrap up a depression in the problem. So Dr. Yen Chu Sung now he is a fellow on the vision of infertility and reproductive endocrinology department of obstetric and gynecology from the Changkung Memorial Hospital in Gao Taiwan. I think he uh, study graduate post graduate everything in Taiwan. So let me. Uh, Welcome, uh, Dr. Yen Chu Sung, for your case presentation, please. Good evening, everyone. My name is Yen Ru Song, and I am a fellow research doctor of Chang'e Memorial Hospital. It is my pleasure to be here and share the following clinical cases. Case one is a 32 year old uliparous female suffering from secondary infertility for about three years. She has underlying disease of adenomyosis, which is the main contributor of her female factor infertility. Her partner has bilateral varicocele that were treated with varicoselectomy. She first came to our outpatient clinical in 2015, sonography and lab data then reveal adenomyosis. So medical treatment with germ arch acnes was given for two months. Unfortunately, her OPD follow-ups afterwards did not show much improvement. So after through discussion with the patient, she decided to undergo surgical intervention. After her laparotomy, adenomyometomy by Osada Mather, her CA125 level returned to that of normal range. Therefore, after taking oral pill for two more months, she started her IVF cycle. 16 oocytes were obtained via GNRH antagonist protocol. Endometrium preparation with artificial cycle were implemented with exogenous estradiol and progesterone. After embryo transfer, she successfully became pregnant and delivered at 30 three weeks of gestation due to preterm labor. The diagram below summarized and the step of her IVF cycle. Our second case is a 32 years old primigravida female suffering from primary infertility for about three years due to adenomyosis and endometrioma. Her sonography and tumor marker back, back in 2016 were compatible with adenomyosis. Having failed IUI twice, she started her IVF cycle in February of 2017. 13 oocytes were obtained via GNRH antagonist protocol. GNRH agonist and oral pill were then prescribed for two months each for treatment of her adenomyosis. When her CA125 has returned to normal range after serious OPD follow-ups, we started her endometrium preparation with artificial cycle. However, after transferring two embryos, neither implant successfully. Therefore, we shift her treatment to dino chest for many months until CA125 fell within normal range. This time, after transferring another two embryos, she successfully conceived and delivered at 36 weeks of gestation. The last case is a 37 year old primigravida female suffering from primary infertility for five years due to adenomyosis. Her symptom lab and each finding were all consistent for adenomyosis. She received gene arch agonist for a month. However, due to persistent symptoms and each findings, she underwent high food and obtained a non perfusion area of 96%. Contraception was advised for about six months. Afterward, she became pregnant via IVF and is expected to deliver it this December. Thank you. Uh, yes. Uh... We will discuss later about the how to management the patient. They have a uh, adenomyosis and they want to uh, get pregnancy. Uh, in this situation, you can find these three cases is quite different. First one, they uh, he tried to uh, she tried to use the uh, the laparotomy uh, uh, adenomyometomy by osadamazo. And the later second one, they just have uh, give them the medical treat 
and the third one they use in the high food. So this three is uh, all is a very effective method. So maybe many of us were confused about why the patient we choose using the uh, open method and another using the laparoscopic method and uh, the, the third one we use the high food method. And uh, we also want to introduce a little bit about the high food management for the adenomyosis. So I think that uh, we will discuss uh, after the uh, my lectures. Maybe we can we have uh, some uh, some idea on why we doing the treatment, and uh, we also show the protocol from the uh, Chinese Chinese Medical Society and uh, the first chart for the patient. They suffer from adenomyosis, and if they want to get pregnancy, then how can we do? And I think there will be a more clear view for the audience to understand what, how can we deal with the patient.